Welcome, let's talk about pipes. A pipe is a transformation mechanism that allows us to process our data when inserting it into the template. We will go over the standard pipes by processing the data that we have on this controller. There's one thing that you might not know about certain pipes and without it they will simply not work, at least in certain browsers. Let's see further on this lesson. Let's see a couple of simple pipes in action. Here we have the uppercase and lowercase pipe. So any expression passed into these pipes will be transformed accordingly. So the uppercase pipe will make hello world all uppercase. Let's see this in action. Let's introduce a couple more pipes. For example, the slice pipe. It follows the same semantics as the JavaScript slice operation. You can pass it an array, you can pass it a string. It behaves as you would expect. The replace pipe also follows the semantic of the JavaScript string replace operation. It can take also regular expressions. As we can see, pipes can be customized by passing them arguments separated by the colon character. Now take a look at this, we are going to introduce a new pipe, the date pipe. It's for formatting dates. We can pass it in the format on which we want to display the date. As we can see, the month May has been displayed on the screen. Now take a look at what happens if we run the exact same code in the Safari browser. We immediately get an error, can't find variable and the program crashes. So what's going on here? This happens because the date pipe, like several other pipes made available to us by Angular, are dependent on the browser internationalization API. The problem is that this API is not yet available in all browsers, and that's why we have an error in Safari, but not in Chrome. The best solution is to install a polyfill. A polyfill is simply a JavaScript library that installs on the browser a missing feature that the browser has not yet available. It will at startup time detect if the feature is present and if not it will install itself and provide that feature, sometimes partially. If the feature is already available on the browser then the polyfill will not install itself. What we need is a polyfill for the internationalization API. A good source for polyfills is polyfill.io. Let's add a polyfill here in the index.html. If we now switch back to Safari, everything is working again. Another pipe that also needs the internationalization API is the number formatting pipe. We can configure it with a string. In this case, 5 is the number of digits left of the comma of the number that we want to display. This will be left padded with zeros and 1 and 2 are the minimum and the maximum amount of decimal digits that we want to display. Next is the percent pipe to display percentages. This can be configured using a configuration string that follows the same format as the number pipe. The last standard pipe that we are going to see in this lesson is the currency pipe. We can pass it a three digit code containing the currency, a flag stating if we should print the symbol of the currency instead of, in this case, for example, USD and a number formatting string that follows the same mechanism as the previous numeric pipes. Last but not least, let's learn how to build a custom pipe. So for that we are going to implement the sort array sorting pipe that can take one argument that determines the sorting order. We are going to apply the sort pipe to the data array. Now let's see what the custom pipe looks like. Here we have it. We need to annotate it with the add pipe annotation, give it a name, which should be the name that we are going to use it to apply it on templates, and it should implement the pipe transform interface. This interface only has one method, transform, that takes as first argument the input data of the pipe that we want to transform, and the second argument the arguments of the pipe, in this case if the sort order is ask or desk. Let's create a simplified version of this pipe. This is for demo purposes only. We are going to sort the array. Next, we are going to detect is the sort order descending and if so, we are simply going to reverse the array. We simply need to add this pipe to the list of pipes recognized by the component using the pipes property. Let's try it out. 
As we can see, the pipe is working as expected. 